You hear the word God, the word Jehovah, the word Lord, the word Jesus, the word Christ, and you think of something other than yourself, one that is greater, one that you would worship. Tonight it is my purpose to show you that God and the I of man are one. When you say I am, that is the God of Scripture. And find as you are, you think, how could it be? God created the universe and sustained it. And here I am, like a little worm, three score in ten years, and then I vanish. But now I'm going to tell you that you really are God. Your own wonderful consciousness, your human imagination, that is the God of Scripture. And there is no other God. Believe me, that when you say I, before you say I am John, I am Bill, I am this, I am that, I am the other, you are declaring yourself to be, and that sense of being is God. That's God. Now what are you going to put on it? All things are possible to God. All things. You could say now, as you're seated here, after first affirming that I am, you could then assume that I am, and you name exactly what you want to be. If you believe what I tell you about your own I amness, and remain faithful to what you have assumed, that assumption will harden into fact. When you pray in the true sense of the word, you do not pray to any external God. Test yourselves and see. Do you not realize that Jesus Christ is in you? Unless, of course, you fail to meet the death. Examine yourself to see whether you are holding to the faith. What faith? To have someone tell me that I am a Christian, or I am a Jew, or a Mohammedan, and holding to that faith that they talk about? No. The faith that I'm talking about tonight. That your own wonderful I amness is God. Test it to see if you're holding to that faith. If you're holding to that faith and all things are possible to God, you should be able to prove it in the testing. When man awakens from this dream, the whole vast world and all that it contains is as nothing to the being that you are. You came down from heaven. Where the whole is yours. As you're told in the 50th Psalm. If I were hungry I wouldn't tell you. For the world is mine. And all within it. The cattle on a thousand hills. Are mine. So why should I tell anyone. Of my need when it's all mine anyway. I would slay and eat. When you awaken. You don't ask anyone. If you awaken from this dream of life. No matter how little you have thought yourself so far, may I tell you, you are the infinite God. 